let's jump into the final topic of crypto which is top analytics are talking about which are the bullish bullish means which ones are going to go and increase in value which ones are the bullish um cryptocurrencies and, and currently everybody's been talking about ethereum Riri talked about ethereum 2.0 they're coming out with their latest technology that's gonna that's gonna rock the world and and definitely change the game with how ethereum progresses towards the future the another the second one that we've been talking about extensively has been cardano cardano has been one of those that it's uh technology is actually going to be competing with ethereum some analytics are telling us that um either ethereum is going to grow stronger and decrease cardano's value or cardano is going to bypass with its technology and its ability to make more transactions than ethereum so currently that's what's uh winning and and we'll see how ethereum 2.0 comes about and and starts dominating the market but one cryptocurrency that if you heard one of our podcasts maybe about two or three weeks ago i slipped it in as as one of those little key key cryptocurrencies that you should have looked at and if you looked at it then you're welcome but this is gonna be solana s o l a n a i don't know why i spelled it for you guys but solana is definitely gonna be a cryptocurrency to be keeping on your radar this is another long-term um investment and this is actually one that let's see youtuber jason pazino whoever that dude is um there's 109,000 people listening to him he must you know be giving some pretty good advice but he's finally come out saying that solana solana is going to be one of those that has the potential of cardano and has the potential of ethereum and as we're looking at this these are all going to be um really good long-term investment choices uh the high risk is still there guys um until these are established companies and have established utilities that are being used at a commercial level these are all still going to be high risk uh just as you look at stocks and its ability to and stocks evaluate companies and, and the value of that company these are cryptocurrencies that are now starting to reflect its ability to be used in the market in uh, financial protocols, in banks, in in other real world transactions, and so Solana is one of those that is looking solid. And to throw in just another one, if you're interested in Binance and you see that as a, a exchange that's going to keep taking off, BNB is its ticker, and BNB has fell sixty percent from its previous high and that's saying that it was jumping it was pumping like nobody's business three months ago it dropped 60 percent. and if you're looking at binance as being a potential um i don't know i don't even want to rank it with 100 percent. it's almost close to coinbase it is one of those names that is up there uh, you know, in the future, it could be one to take over or just be head to head. I mean, competition is always the best in markets. And if finance is one of those names that you when you hear it, you already know about it. I don't see as to why not. It wouldn't be a competitor to Coinbase. Binance has a lot more features. Binance is able to do a lot more when it comes to your ability to trade. And, and it has more advanced features for people who previously had stock market um experience and if you're looking for greater analytics uh binance is a place to go uh if you store in binance that's your choice definitely do your research because uh, a lot of these exchanges anything dealing with crypto is going to be a high risk just remember that uh nothing about this is a safe market uh, we're looking at the stock market and seeing its ability to be manipulated. You can't say that co- like uh, cryptocurrencies are itself aren't being manipulated in some way. And so as we currently define it as decentralized, we are moving towards a future that becomes more centralized as more really rich people are getting their hands on it and pretty much they're going to be making the rules. Uh, I think the largest threat to cryptocurrency would be cybersecurity and that's only because that i've read news that a bunch of wallets have been compromised 
and that is just not okay. When it comes to the stock market, um, you know, we'll talk about later on how some brokers just get overfilled with volume and then their systems take a hit. So it, it'll be interesting to see Binance in the future uh, comparative to Coinbase. I know Coinbase is, is in like the 200s right now for their stock ticker. I don't know what Binance is at. Let me look it up really quick. BNB and nope, I got nothing. What? Two ninety nine, like two dollars and ninety nine cents, and two hundred and ninety nine dollars and twenty six cents. Binance Coin. So I don't know about the ticker, if they're even listed on the New York Stock Exchange. I don't think they are, but Binance Coin NASDAQ, USD. Binance Stock. Finance coin is BNB listed on the NASDAQ. Yep, finance coin. Yep. So it's at three, uh, $299, nearly $300. So I don't know in the future, it dropped down 40%. That's likely to occur after it IPOs. Mm -hmm. It always happens. People will get in early, take profit right when it hits, the market hits. 15 minutes in, you better just dip out of that IPO because it's just going to drop off right after that. And that is, that happens time and time again. So just know the name of the game, how to play it. And, and 40% down, that sounds like a buy to me, but at the same time, just see how the company is doing as a whole, you know, do some, uh, I don't know why it loves doing his discounted cash flow analysis. Uh, you need to do your due diligence just because just because people think the future is now. You know, people thought Google Glass was going to change the fucking world. What happened to that? Huge company, lots of money, big investments, huge ideas, technologies that we even use today. Mm -hmm. But it didn't work. Don't that's, even know obviously that's that is anymore. Obviously, that's a different story specifically. But um, you you have to be skeptical and criticize and critique everything. You have to figure these things out because when Binance is $300 a share, you have to make sure that I can justify uh, those, those prices. And it's not just hype because remember markets are forward looking, meaning the price you're looking at is what people are speculating on baking into the price into the future. That's not the true price. It's always fighting for a price, but it's all speculators trying to figure out what it should be worth at some degree or horizon into the future. Yeah. So you have Weeks, to remember that just because ahead. it looks like, look at well, just because the price has a, a number right now that's stable doesn't necessarily mean that's the true and best price for the for the asset. That's just what people are speculating in the market based on some amount of information. So market makers are going to kick that into the price.